Fantastic news, guys. Record high inflation could point to a much bigger cost of living adjustment for 2023. What's going on, guys? Josh Baldwin here for Mad Money Millennial, bringing you the latest news and most straightforward information out there for those of you on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and SNAP or EBT benefits. You could do me a giant favor by tapping those like and subscribe buttons. And let's get into this update on the recently projected changes to the cost of living adjustment estimate for 2023 based on some recent changes to consumer index data. Now, as you know, Social Security beneficiaries started 2022 with a 5.9% cost of living adjustment to their monthly checks, the highest increase in about 40 years. But as inflation climbs with each passing month, the buying power of those benefit increases has continuously diminished. The Consumer Price Index for All Urban Consumers, or CPIU, rose 8.5% from a year ago, according to March data released by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics on Tuesday. Meanwhile, another measure used by the Social Security Administration to calculate the annual cost of living adjustment the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, or CPIW, shot up 9.4% over the last 12 months. Now, according to the Senior Citizens League, a nonpartisan seniors group, the average retiree benefit in 2022 rose to $1,656.30 from $1,564, a $92.30 boost per month. If those benefits kept up with inflation, the average retiree benefit would increase to about $1,711 based on March data, an increase of $147 from the average retiree benefit in 2021, according to the Senior Citizens League. So far this year, average retirement benefits have suffered a shortfall of $162.60, according to the group's calculations. Retirees are feeling the pinch as prices rise in key categories including food, housing costs, home heating, and prescription drugs. For example, the cost of the standard Medicare Part B premium increased by 14.5% for 2022 to $170.10 per month. However, record high inflation across all major categories of consumer price index could point to a much larger COLA for 2023. Based on March data released on Tuesday, the Senior Citizens League estimates the COLA would be 8.9% for 2023. That's up from the group's estimate last month for a 7.6% COLA for next year. You can most definitely expect further changes to the 2023 COLA estimate as future months of CPIW data would factor into the official COLA calculation for next year. The Social Security Administration typically takes the average of the CPIW for the third quarter of the current year and compares it to the average for the third quarter for the previous year in order to determine whether there is a COLA increase. Some experts believe peak inflation could subside before then. Economist Jason Furman, a Harvard University professor and former top economic advisor to President Barack Obama, tweeted on Tuesday that he sees a glimmer of hope due to the fact that core CPI is down and core services only rose slightly. The worst may now be behind us, Furman said. Inflation started to take off in March 2021, noted Mary Johnson, Social Security and Medicare Policy Analyst at the Senior Citizens League. And it may also be a turning point this year with a potential moderation in the coming months. If that happens, the estimate for the 2023 Social Security COLA would be reduced. Alright guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below any information you might have about your own Social Security benefits. And maybe you can help someone else out. And of course, hit that subscribe button and notification bell right next to it. Hitting that bell will make sure you get notified exactly when my videos are coming out. And not a week or two later. And lastly, if you'd like to support my channel, you can now own your very own original Mad Money Millennial t-shirt. Colors come in black, gray, red, and white. And the link to my store can be found right under this video. Alright guys, stay safe, stay hustling, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.